David is parallel parking. Today, we are going to our first... Just kidding, just crap. <laughs> <design. laughs> We're going to our first doctor's appointment and I'm going to get a ultrasound. I'm really excited. Um, I'm also really nervous because I, I don't know I, if maybe this is just me, but I've spent a lot of time on forums and stuff reading what people are experiencing. And sometimes you do these things and um, you don't get good news. So I just kind of want to go in and make sure everything is okay and looks good. And then once, once we uh, see that heartbeat and are, are feeling a little relieved, I think I'll be really happy and then I think I'll really process it. <laughs> it's my job to let her feel more comfortable that we're gonna be okay. Everything is fine and I we are a team and this is gonna be very cool, very crazy. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you gonna cry? Uh, I have no clue. I have all kinds of questions for the doctor <laughs> and I'm really excited. Your uterus is just a little tilt, tilt it, so it's just a little harder to see stuff very early. See a little heartbeat? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. You're mean, really early. You mm -hmm. see that? Yeah. You can't hear it yet because. Take a deep breath and hold it. See that? Oh shit, yeah. Mm -hmm. What am I so supposed to see? The heartbeat. It's just that when you breathe, it, it, you know, you can't see it. So you're like six weeks in one day with a due date of August 17th. All right, so I'm a week. That's what I said. August 17th, six weeks in one day. Yeah, from the last menstrual period. So like, just to look at I want to see the heartbeat, I want to see it. Oh, you, you, got, you got to not breathe. See that? It's like very <sighs> little, it's a flutter, you know? Uh-huh. Can't hear it yet. You'll be able to hear it next time. You did it. One try. What? Nothing. <laughs> It's just a little clump. But it's alive. You can see it moving. Oh, this is terrible lighting, but hey, you know what? I look like shit anyway. Oh my God. So I'm like, according to my app, today is like six weeks and five days. And I, that's my, uh, I have like a heat pad I keep putting, warming up and putting on my head because I've had a pounding headache. Today I'm six weeks and five days. And I have just felt so sick all day. And it's not like nausea, because you'd expect like morning sickness and stuff. It's not, it's not that. It's just I feel like I've been hit by a bus. Like I just feel like that feeling you have right before you get the flu. It's just like, you know, like almost like a head cold kind of sinus pressure, um, tension, headache, slash your whole body just feeling kind of blah. I don't know how to explain it, but I've, I've felt like that pretty consistently over the last few weeks, but today the headache just kicked in. Oh, but I wanted to just talk for a second because I'm feeling it really hard right now. I don't know if you can tell, but I was just crying. Like, I feel like I keep watching all these videos from these people trying to get a feel for how they're documenting this because this is all very new to me. Um, I'm watching this vlog. I don't know. Everybody's doing their like baby's first ultrasound, which I've already done and that went well. So they're all nervous about what's going to happen. And I, I feel that I feel like I was just there, but I just, like they said, they got to nine weeks, I think, and then had a miscarriage and this is their second pregnancy. So they're really nervous, understandably. And Everything on my YouTube recommended page right now is baby stuff and a lot of it is about miscarriages like I miscarried at 11 weeks and this one woman found out at 11 weeks that it happened at eight weeks and she didn't know for three weeks and it's just there's so much going on in my head that it's just it's so stressful because I want to be excited and I am excited but I'm so scared and every other thing I see is miscarriage and I joined this group of, of August babies on like what to expect 
app and like every other post is I had a miscarriage, I had a miscarriage, I had a miscarriage. And it's just, I know it's really common. I had no idea it was as common as it is. Um, and there's literally nothing you can do. You can take your vitamins. You can, you know, I, I guess people are saying don't look at this type of thing, but I'm not. I'm trying not to. Uh, it's just popping up on my recommended on YouTube. And, like, I'll watch a happy family vlog of them doing their first ultrasound. And they're like, yep, this is their second time around. First one was a miscarriage. And it's just like, I am so scared. I'm so scared. Um, we already told our family. Well, we told our uh, just our parents and um, just, like, immediate family. And not even all of our immediate family, because I'm personally, it's mostly me. David's very optimistic all the time, but I am just so, so terrified of something happening. And it's overwhelming. And as much as I try to avoid it, oof, it's so hard. Yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to do like a little update about the, the way I'm feeling physically and mentally and um, just keeping my fingers crossed for everything to be good. And honestly, <laughs> as sick as I felt today, as shitty as I look, as shitty as I feel, that actually is a huge relief. Um, bring it on. I want to be sick. I want to be throwing up because that's what the HCG does to you. And that means that the levels are going up. I need to call the doctor. Today is Sunday. So I'll call in tomorrow and just find out what my numbers are. But um, the more sick you are, that's like a good sign, I think. So I'm going to take a little bit of relief in that and cuddle my kitty cats and try to relax a little bit. And the doggy in the cat bed. I just wanted to tell you guys each thank you for taking uh, taking Christmas so seriously this year. I uh, understand that every one of you uh, is outside of your comfort zones wearing these sweaters and I just wanted to uh, further reiterate how thankful I am that each one of you is taking this seriously. Yes. Merry Christmas. Alright, this is your finale. Cute! Flip it over. <laughs> oh, how cute! <laughs> this is so cute! <laughs> there you go. Wow, that's so cute, babe. Oh, I gotta learn how to do these things better. It looks just like you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna feel weird. Yeah. Just like even like the the, the hand shape of like holding the width of this thing is just. Make sure you support the head. Okay. <laughs> Pretty cute. Hug. Pretty cute. You had a hug. Feels kind of cool. No, no, like a, a real hug. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't. But no, babe, no. <laughs> no, no. Give, me, give me back my baby. What's your problem, babe? My problem is that I upgraded your scooper, and it's much better. Wow. Your stupid little plastic scooper. It smells so bad, I can't, I shouldn't be near it. You shouldn't be near it. Thanks, dear. I love you. David loves doing this new job. I hate it so much. <sighs> Poor angel, little Paul. She had an ingrown nail that we had to cut and it was kind of traumatic, but she's feeling better. Yeah. She's mad at me. Hi, babe. I'm Italian now. <laughs> you gonna make me one of those? No. <laughs> so right now David is making us a really fancy dinner. Oh, that yeah. It is, look at you. This is broccolini it's and broccolini. It's broccolini with, nice. look how freaking nice that is. And look how beautiful. Check this out. How beautiful this is. Out. These are broiling right now. Oh my God, this little potatoes with cheese. And oh my God, look at you go. So I said to David, I'm like, all right, you know what? You can, he told me to step down because he's better at cooking than me, which I've already acknowledged happily. And I said, you know what? That's okay. You can make the dinner and I will make the baby. So, so <laughs> it's a good trade. Happy New Year's Eve, Nala. Happy New Year's Eve, babe. Happy New Year's Eve. Um, this is the first time we are in the house 
And this is the room that I think would make a really cool nursery. I'm kind of like laying where the crib would be. So, here's the door, walk in. Crib would be right there. And you have a nice view. Lots of things to look at. But this is where you would sleep and cry. Here you are now, not very big at all. Um, I was thinking that this room would be perfect for the nursery. I put the little crib right here, and then I want to do like an accent wall. Once we find out if it's a boy or a girl one day, okay, have whatever, however long it takes to get to that point, we paint this pink or blue, and then a crib could go here. All right, another random vlog update. Currently nine weeks and four days, and people are starting to notice. Not my, not my belly. I don't really, I mean, I can, I can notice it, but I am feeling bloated. I don't know. This is more than normal for me, but people aren't noticing that. People are noticing that I'm not drinking wine in my videos and live streams. I have naively thought drinking out of a wine glass and just like putting orange juice in it or something. Like in my head, I thought people will just assume it's a mixed drink and they won't be on my case. But literally on my last video, people were like, Oh my God, she's not drinking wine. I think that's orange juice. Does she have something that maybe she's expecting? And then tonight on my live stream, someone literally in a super chat was like, I don't remember exactly what the comment was, but it straight up just asked me if I was pregnant because I wasn't drinking wine on my stream. Even though yet again, I had a glass in my hand that was like a pineapple juice, um, water. It was like a the coconut fizzy water or whatever that I mix with pineapple juice to make like a mixed drink or whatever. And I had a cherry at the bottom. I did not have alcohol in it. But how do they know that? Like I used to drink drinks like that with vodka in it. So what's the difference, right? But someone was like, what are you drinking? What's in that? Hmm, hmm, hmm? Are you pregnant? So I literally straight up in my stream tonight just lied. I was like, no, this is a drink. Like what? And now I feel bad. I've like been feeling bad now for lying, but what am I supposed to do? And my live stream be like, huh, you got me, surprise. And that's my announcement way before I want to announce in the first trimester, oh my God. It says non-alcoholic, contains no alcohol at the bottom there. But like, I feel like if someone saw me drinking this and just pouring this into a cup, like they maybe wouldn't know it's not alcoholic. I have to step up my game because if I don't at least pretend like I'm drinking a little bit more, people are gonna know that I'm pregnant. And I really don't want, I'm not like there yet mentally. Like I'm still, I'm still really scared. We just did the Doppler at home and we didn't hear a heartbeat um, because it is really early and I understand that it's early and I'm trying to mentally process that it's early, but you know me, I panic. I panic about these things and I just worry and we have a doctor appointment soon. Today is Saturday. The appointment was on this coming Thursday. So I'm super excited about that. Ultrasound number two, we'll get to see more and hopefully hear a heartbeat this time. So I'm really excited about that. But meanwhile, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to tell the internet that I'm pregnant. I haven't even told friends. Like the only people that know are our parents. Girls are so perceptive. All the women are picking up on it. And like, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I wouldn't have been able to pick up on this from somebody else. So um, some of these girls are just very in tune with other women and are very perceptive, which is not a skill I've ever had being able to like people read. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna just start drinking more. I'm gonna start drinking more in my videos and stuff. Cannot have any of this guessing, ladies. <laughs> Stop guessing correctly, damn it. Meanwhile, I'm gonna eat this pickle because I'm pretty sure pickles are the best thing that have ever been created. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. That is so good. No, I just want to document my latest very weird craving. Pickles with jalapenos on top of them. Okay, so this is my favorite thing in the world right now. A pickle covered in jalapenos, courtesy of my husband. I'm like very excited about this. 